Rosa with hosted control planes is an exciting new architecture and way of deploying and using OpenShift in AWS. With hosted control planes, each cluster has a dedicated control plane that is isolated in a Rosa service account. This means that all control plane components, such as the API server, etcd, and OAuth, are hosted separately in a Red Hat owned and managed account. Worker nodes and storage are always hosted in your AWS account. And a secure private link connection ensures SRE access is safe. It's easy to install Rosa with HCP via a convenient UI wizard that guides you through the required setup, including your AWS specific infra requirements. And of course, there are many options to install the cluster. You can use a CLI, automation, or the UI, whatever works best for you. Today, we're going to use the UI and CLI to install things, but as always, be sure to consult the AWS and Red Hat documentation for all the details. First up, we're going to ensure AWS is ready. Have your AWS CLI configured and find the Rosa service in the AWS console. Once there, you'll need to enable Rosa with HCP. This ensures your account is subscribed to the Rosa on AWS Marketplace. Make sure all the prerequisite checks are passing and then head over to the Red Hat console. Review and accept the terms and conditions and connect your accounts. Next, you need to log into your Red Hat account with the Rosa CLI. This allows you to create the required roles in the Red Hat OpenShift console. You can copy and paste all the steps easily here. With your Red Hat account ready, it's time to configure your cluster. The wizard helps with every detail. We'll configure that VPC soon. But first, it's time to associate your AWS account with your Red Hat account. To do this, your accounts require specific permissions to be configured. This is done by creating AWS IAM roles. And the wizard presents the exact commands to run from the Rosa CLI, making it easy to copy and paste to the command line. You can review the roles created in your AWS IAM console. And once done, you'll be able to find your AWS account in the wizard and see all the ARNs created. Name your cluster, choose a supported version and region, and any other features you want to use. Now, as mentioned, for Rosa with HCP, you bring or create your own VPC. You can easily do this with the handy Terraform modules we've created for this. You can, of course, use other methods to create your VPC. Do it manually through the console or with CloudFormations. And as you can see here, because your accounts are linked, accessing that VPC and its subcomponents is really easy from the wizard, making setup quick and straightforward. Next, we need to set up an OIDC config ID for the cluster. Red Hat OpenShift service on AWS clusters use STS and OIDC to grant the in-cluster operators access to necessary AWS resources. We can now use these pieces to create the operator roles for the HCP deployment. We'll choose the HCP roles. Doing this before cluster creation results in faster install times. And with that, the cluster is now ready for installation. So the wizard lets you track your progress. It gives you access to the current status. You can follow along and even follow along on the logs. Once complete, you'll need to set up authentication. Choose an identity provider that suits your needs. And manage user permissions as required. And as you can see, the OpenShift Cluster Manager console provides a variety of different options and tabs and such to manage your HCP cluster. But for now, use that new user to log in and get started using the cluster straight away. Try Red Hat OpenShift service on AWS with hosted control planes today and experience the difference Red Hat and AWS managed cloud services can make for your business. To get started quickly, Log into the AWS or Red Hat console links in the description or visit cloud.redhat.com today.